So in terms of eye care, we should remember that a mild sticky eye and some watering is common in the first two to three days. So uh, this is related to the congestion where the head is in a descendant uh, depending position and uh, the labor process where the squeezing effect happens also leads to congestion. So if there is a cord around the neck or some pressure, it can lead to more congestion. So this is the same reason why a subconjunctival hemorrhage may happen in the white part of the eye, a small blood spots, and they tend to be absorbed over time. Some countries use erythromycin eye ointment as prophylaxis. Erythromycin is not routinely available, or it's relatively expensive. Uh, ophthalmia and unitorum in our clinical use is not very common. So a close watch and early diagnosis and treatment is essential. So if you see significant pus crusting and so on in the uh, initial few days, it's very important. Remedial uh, discharge usually happens a little later. So you have to remember both these conditions. So uh, another problem we often see is watering which persists after the tears are produced by the time the baby is two to three weeks of age. Newborn babies do not produce tears. And uh, after two to three weeks, the tear starts producing and then the stickiness noted in the eye and watering. Usually it's a mild stickiness soon after waking up from sleep due to the mucus crusting. So you can see the lacrimal gland is a tear producing gland. The tear comes into the eye and then it drains into the nose through the lacrimal punctum. The nasolacrimal duct drains into the nose. So the lacrimal sac is at the inner margin. So we are actually massaging between the eyes and the nose in an upward and downward fashion. Little pressure is needed. We should use clean hands. And if there is a tear drip block, the massage and cleaning is the most important part. Usually, you don't need antibiotic treatment. Of course, many babies with this condition may persist to have this block uh, for a few months. The ophthalmologists usually do not treat this condition till a year or so. So if the child is doing well, History assurance and continuing to massage should be adequate.